hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's the iconic advisor just have a few tips for you today no why would you want to be working so hard why would you want to be rich and don't have any time to be spending or enjoying your money but there are a few tips that we need to understand about money before we can maintain and generate those wealth now there are a couple of things that the rich don't do that middle class and the poor does and i'm going to give you a few of them and i have made the mistakes i'm not here to preach at or down to anyone but just to give some advice and recommendation before i move on i want to thank those who have subscribed to the channel thank you for watching thank you for sharing and i encourage you to continue to share with your friends and your family now today loans why would you take out a loan to purchase the latest or the most expensive phones sometimes our phone is still in good condition and we just feel that we have to upgrade because it is the newest thing is it it's trending it's a new this or the new that sometimes it doesn't even have enough storage or doesn't even uh, match your lifestyle or the type of work that you're doing but because it is trending and because it is x amount some of us purchase cell phone and as i said before the phone that we have is in good working order avoid some of those unnecessary spending that is number one number two uh yes we're in a good job and yes i'm earning x amount and yes i can you know maintain or afford x amount of mortgage um some of our young people i want to encourage you buying these luxury apartment um with these exorbitant um you know mortgage you can buy something that is you know you know it could be a fixer upper it could be um something that requires less deposit or you know um in terms of your mortgage it could be less um, i'm encouraging you it could be even a larger property for less outside of the golden triangle that has more property that will encourage probably farming or even expanding on that even to rent a portion of it in terms of future income so you can consider those options number three trendy clothing and expensive clothing um i guess fake it until you make it is a thing or we have to dress a certain way to attract a certain um type of crowd or type of people or um type of clients but i will encourage you that for me you know that people think that me have a lot of clothes and that my clothes they're expensive but i look for deals i look for bargains and i know clothes wear me and me wear clothes so whatever it is that i put on it's going to look exquisite and in some cases it's going to look expensive but you have to be wise in terms of spending and you don't need three four five six black jackets and three four five six pair of black shoes but you have to make sure guys that you're budgeting and you're spending wisely and not so much in some areas that you can put some more into your savings or maybe even to your health now number four is loan avoiding some of those loans and some of us are taking out loans to pay off loans um you have to be able to speak with your your finance person or your bank or who are loan officer whoever it is what you're trying to achieve because if it is that you're going to be paying a higher interest or more money to consolidate does it really make sense should you just take your time and pay off what it is that you have which also extend the number of years that you have on the loan and guys i can't emphasize it enough to read the fine prints and make sure that you understand the contingency of the loan make sure that you understand that contract because at the end of some of these loans there's another loan to be paid now i have an experience where that is concerned and i have owned a car for seven years paid off the loan and still had a balloon or a bullet payment they call it at the end of the loan of almost a million dollars to pay which i find very ridiculous but that's for i think i did a a video on that why i hate car loans so you can go ahead and watch that video in the library and the fifth point is on healthy expensive food spend the money and take care of you as a matter of fact some of these fast foods that we're buying for lunch 
within two or three hours, maybe less than that, you're hungry. You're thinking about also cholesterol. So you're eating these healthy stuff, unhealthy stuff, spending a lot of money, and you have to go buy food again because guess what? You're not filled. You're not satisfied. And it was expensive anyway. And if you can drink less coffee or make your own coffee, buy your stuff and make your own, we will be spending less on some of these food or fast going food or self gratifying food, which sometimes turns out to be unhealthy. Image. I have to impress everybody. So I have to drive a certain type of car cost a certain amount I'm struggling with the payments image can make you broke no live to impress people image can run you in a debt image can embarrass you because when people are calling for them money it not safe so I'm encouraging you guys make sure that the lifestyle that you're living suits your pocket you're not spending more than you're earning to impress anybody number seven the, these get rich seminars and presentation that promising you this and that and we have i've been in some of them and i've spent a lot of money and gained nothing do your proper research and i do more research and see where it can enhance you and if it does not suit you then walk away also persons who are attending self-development courses year after year and have done no change or have taken any other recommendations from what was given in in previous meeting are you going year after year making the same mistakes and not getting any results you know, stop it stop spend all of these monies and you've been to one last month and you're going to another one and you haven't made any change the change starts in here and if you don't start in here, no matter how many seminars you go, you're not going to get rich. If you don't make the change. Start to invest in self. Whether it is fitness, whether it is health in terms of food, what you eat, what you grow, um, vacation. And it doesn't have to mean that you have to leave the country that you're in. You can do some, there are so many deals on the internet now in your own country, in here in Jamaica, that you can do bed and breakfast or do something with the family that are not so expensive so you guys have to understand how your money going to work for you how much is it that you how much is it that you're earning how much you're keeping and how much you're spending how much you're investing guys work on you even education um your, your image it doesn't have to be expensive i think i had something here um else for you but guys work on you and make sure that you are saving enough guys remember to stay strong to stay safe and to stay focused thank you for watching as always walk good